Although the last European game was a defeat against Ferran's Barish at Parkour, nevertheless, it was much narrower than the away leg. And also the performance, you were pleased with that following the game. Do you feel that that was a good springboard into which this game can then be taken on board? Yes, definitely. You know, you look back and you analyse the game out there, look 5-0, no one, no one to get beat, but no one to get beat 5-0. You know, they're a good team. They, they, they had a really good 30 minutes, and I thought, but I thought we had really good moments in the game. We had some really good patterns of play where we, we'd done really well. And then, um, obviously, at, at Park Hall, it was very, very close. I think probably, in all fairness, yes, they shared in the possession, but I think, you know, overall, I think they had six shots on target. We had six, um, and it was nothing in it. So I think the draw would have been probably a, a fair result. But, yeah, you know, especially to get that goal at the end, I think it was nothing more than the... Uh, than, than the lads deserved, really. And there was a, not as much time between that game and this one in order to yeah. gather information on the opponent. Have yeah. you been happy with what you collected on the Moldovans? Yeah, definitely. You know, we've done all we can. You know, we've managed to see all four of their European games they've played. Um, so, so yeah, we, we've, we've, we've done as much as what we can. We've, we've watched four full games and between the staff, we've analysed it and, and got our heads together and, and come up with a game plan and, and in, in, especially away from home, thinking how we can, you know, try and um, make sure that we are well and truly in the tie when it, when the game comes back to Park Hall, because we all know that Park Hall, you know, it's a tough place to come for anyone. As I would imagine, Ferenc Farris would, you know, would would, would um, say that coming away from it last week was certainly wasn't an easy game for them. They only shaded the game, so that's really important that we um, we come out here and show a lot of discipline, and then um, we we make sure the the game's well and truly open when we come back to Park Hall next week. You mentioned Petra Cubs four European games so far this yeah. season. They don't score many goals. On the other hand, they don't concede many either. Yeah, you, you, in European competition, you know, you can say that. You know, it's, it's, it's a level above for everybody, isn't it? It's a big step up for everybody, you know. But domestically, they've scored quite a few goals. They've scored fours and fives. So, so yeah, we've looked at their domestic season as well. And, you know, we, we've, um, like I said, we've had a good look at them. We, we understand, you know, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and then it's um, it's up to us now to to try and nullify their strengths and, and try to take advantage of their weakness. But as we say at this level, you know, it's it's really really tough. The champions of Moldova and you know anyone that beat Sheriff to the title, I think Sheriff have won it for the last ten years in a row. Could even be longer. They might have lost it once in fifteen or twenty years. So we all know Sheriff have been a dominant force. So obviously um, Petra have done a, a hell of a lot right. To, to get themselves in a situation where they are and to go through the first round and to only be beat marginally by Applewell Nicosia. So we certainly won't be underestimating them and we, um, you know, we, um, we will be looking forward to the game. TNS's first three European games, unchanged starting 11s. You made a few tweaks to the yeah. fourth mm. game. Based on what you've gathered in terms of information on Petra Cub, I'd like to make a few tweaks again this time. Yeah, it's going to be the team that I feel is best that will that'll get with the results, you know, that we need. You know, to like you said, it's a, you know, it's a away game first. We've had, you know, first off we had the the first leg, but the first game where we had Desich at home, and then away, then it was Rose reverse against Farns Ferris, and then um, you know we, we've got away tie first again. So like I said, you know, we've looked at them, we, we understand their strengths, and in our in our, in our um, the staff will be picking a team that we think will be the best team. That'll um, that'll lead, when we leave the stadium tomorrow night in the final whistle that we're still well and truly in the game going back to Park Hall. And the new sense will be training tonight, of course, at the national stadium where the yeah. game is being played yeah. tomorrow. Is that a big plus in terms of preparation? Yeah, I think it is, especially when you come to the bigger stadiums because look, we all at the end of the day we all little boys that want to play football. You know, that's where it's come from, you know, from the age of six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've all watched football on TV. We've all seen big grounds, national stadiums, you know, fantastic arenas to play football. And it is nice to come the night before and take all that in. So then when it comes to the game, you know, everyone's in work mode and they know that it's, you know, we're here for a reason to try and try and win a football game. You know, so, so, the, so the day, the night before, obviously you stretch your legs after a day of travel yesterday. But also as well, it gets used to the surroundings around you, especially the big stadiums, because it's always nice. Like you said, we, you know, we all we're all little kids at heart, and we all something that we all wanted to do as as a, as a small boy. Certainly, I did want to go and play in these big stadiums, be involved in. You know, it's nice to enjoy it on the night before. And the draws have been made today for yeah. 
future opponents, yeah. of course. But as you so often say, Craig, and rightly so, the next game is the most important one. Yeah. But how much attention will you be giving to to perhaps those potential games in the future? Yeah, from from the manager's point of view, nothing at this moment in time, nothing at all. You know, we've got other members of staff that you know, analysts, etc., that that will have a look. You know, get the information, the, the data, the raw data, and the games, and, and get them sent across to me, myself, and the other staff. But as as from the manager's point of view, you know, between now and the games finish tomorrow, I won't be, you know, I won't be having a second look at anybody apart from, you know, Petra Club. So I think they, they deserve that respect. And you know, as you know, and as as we say all the time, this game is the most important one, and then we'll be concentrating one hundred percent on this.